So the Snap Builder supports level streaming and this allows you to create some really large levels and then stream them when you get close to it and unload the ones that are uh, that are far away from the player. So in this case, I if I if I were to step away from from the spawn room, it would unload this level from memory. And when I get close to it, it loads it back in. Now one of the problems with this is that any, whenever we unload a room, any state change that the player might have made in this room. For example, if you might have opened a treasure chest or you might have reduced the health of an NPC. All of that data will be lost and when it loads it back in, it just loads the default value. For example, here I'm changing the state of the lights. Let's change to blue. And if I were to move away from this, the level got unloaded thereby destroying the state that you have created. And then come back in it uh, and look at it. This the values were gone, and it's just replaced with the default value that you saved in the level. So to solve this, we have a uh, we have a serialization framework, and you can make any actor as part of that serialization framework, and it would automatically save the state of that actor whenever the the level is streamed out, and it would automatically put the value back in when it is streamed in and also it'll notify you when the value has been streamed in so you can update the visuals if you want so let's go ahead and make this make this uh, actor to be part of the system so uh, i'm going to open this up and uh, go to the class settings and add an interface called snap map serializable and if you have that this is now uh, the snap map will uh, will go ahead and serialize the values of the variables in uh, as long as they've been tagged to be saved so select the variables that you want to save in my case i just want this variable to be saved and check the save game checkbox so if you have this checked it's going to save it and restore it back when we load the level in there is one more thing we want to know when the data has been restored by the system so that we can update the material in this section here so there is an event for that on snap and in this case, we're just updating the color. So this is called by the Snap Builder whenever we stream in an LL, stream in a level and load in the values. To it. So let's try this now. Let's keep it like this. So you see the values have been restored. Uh, there is another uh, another feature you can grab all the all the door or the spawn door door instances, and uh, you can lock them or do whatever you like. So in this example, in this example, I have a simple blueprint that that gets the spawned door actor, and uh, I just lock them up. So this is useful if you want to have some kind of a gameplay mechanic where you have a trigger volume around the room and whenever the player enters it you start some uh, spawning logic and lock all the doors and then uh, unlock it once all the spawn enemies have been killed. So how does this work? So this just holds a reference to all of the connection actors. And from the connection actor, I just query and tell me, all right, give me the spawned actor that you have spawned. And the spawned actor could be one of the two. It could be the the wall actor, or it could be the door actor. So there are two different things. The connection actor is holding the data, and then there is one more spawned actor. So it's not the same same thing. The door that is spawned is not part of this. It's a separate actor. So uh, if you, you can query for it, and in uh, in this case, in the first case, uh, it actually gave me three actors. Two of them were the the wall meshes, and the third one was the door mesh. I just cast it and see if if it's the the door blueprint that I'm looking for, and I lock it. So I'm I'll be giving you a game sample with all of this uh, with all of this. So. Uh, you have a base to start with. 